Hey, my name's Natalie Rose, and I've been traveling for a number of weeks now. Um, learning, reading, meeting family that I've never met before. I never knew I had such a big family. I've always worked really hard. This is the first break in a long while since I was a teen. Um, I've been to places now that I've once called home and seen some new ones. Um, in all that traveling, it's inspired writing and just showing the kids new cities, new experiences. I've never had so much time with them and it's both amazing and sometimes it can be frustrating and like it's all on all on my shoulders um, but as well as that the first time being quiet and still and taking it in I've been surprised to find this question of how do you keep picking yourself up despite setbacks and I've heard so many stories on the way and I'm very proud to say that a lot of my family and friends they've gone through the number of things um, I certainly have did an itinerant life growing up in a in a cult. You know, I don't have the monopoly on um, suffering or difficulty um, or you know interesting stories. But yeah, some things come up when you don't want them to. When your usual coping mechanism, in mine is really hard work and putting others first, um, giving giving and giving and that doesn't work you know you run out of energy you run out of oxygen um i don't really know how to do otherwise i'm learning now how to take it in how to take in the best of life and just enjoy um, the journey um i want to thrive i don't want to just survive i know in in trying to find my own feet i've done things which I've been proud of, you know, I've made mistakes, I've hurt people, mostly I've hurt myself, and I'm not alone in that, I think a lot of people have used coping mechanisms, whether it's drugs, alcohol, work, um, hurting others, you know, it's different journeys, um, those that I've found to be most successful, those that can lean into the pleasure and, and um, find love and give love. Um, I have achieved things and I've had lots of setbacks. I've had lots of good experiences. Um, and in this quiet moment, I reflect and I find myself um, not feeling worthy, you know, feeling a lot, a lot of old feelings that from childhood even of not being enough or being um, helpless, um, being isolated, being trapped, and it's just ridiculous. I mean... I know I need my tribe, at least it's true for me, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. People surround themselves with healthy and unhealthy ways of coping with things and making themselves feel at their best and um, achieving. Uh, for me, my truth is that I need to be part of a, a team um, to feel a sense of purpose. Um, yeah. Um, I'm interested to see how other people cope, what mechanisms they use. I hope to find the healthiest and most sustainable ones for myself. Um, I don't know what that will look like, you know. But definitely I want to feel better than I've ever felt before. And starting tomorrow, hopefully I'll be able to go skiing, do something that I've come to find about myself that I enjoy, and that I might not be so, so bad at or better than I thought and also show my kids um, how to ski so that they can have that as part of their skill set. Just facing your fears, doing something a little bit challenging, something outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. Anyway, Natalie Rose, thanks for listening.